Yay, ten bombs! We haven't used bombs in forever! Probably should be using them more! Make things easier! What are your problem? Your guys' problem. Okay, you guys do come to life. Frickin' Armos. No! No, don't follow me! No! 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 There you go. Hey, so you guys remember when I was saying, like, Oh, I don't think we gotta fight Armos! Guess who was wrong? Actually, these guys aren't giving me... Besides losing almost... Nine hearts, these guys aren't be giving me that big of a, an issue as I thought they would. You guys remember when we picked up that potion? I didn't. I thought that we were just gonna get a game over right there. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. I really can't believe that. I, I completely forgot we picked up that potion. Thank you so much, Maple. Five rupees! I'm going to murder you, Dungeon! I am going to murder you in your sleep. You gave me five rupees for fighting seven Armos? Six Armos? Ugh. No, I'm completely fine. I don't want to murder anything. What are you talking about? I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Does one of these blocks actually do anything, or is this just another dead end that is completely pointless? <sighs> Five rupees! Another dead end! Five! Five! Count them! One, two, you got one, you got two, you got three, you got four, you got five! Americans say five! <laughs> Five rupees. <sighs> no, I'm completely fine. How are you today? Did you find out that you spent about two hundred dollars in in bombs, getting five rupees? Five. I, I'm completely serious. There were only five. I know, I can't believe it either. But you know what? The proof is in the pudding. Or as we like to say, the proof is in the, the, the trampoline. There were five rupees in that chest. And I don't know why I want to go on and on and on about it. It just seems like a funny thing to do. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Back to the game, back to the murdering the dungeon in its sleep. Oh, goodness. No fake walls. Okay, so we gotta actually kill you, it looks like. Oh wait, no we don't. That's an open door. We'll be going down that pit eventually, I'm I'm presuming. Okay, there is something in here. <gasps> okay, that makes everything better. Guys, we got the magical boomerang. That makes everything better. I'll explain in the next episode. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Miyoks Poo. Take it easy, guys. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with MioXFu and we just got the magical boomerang. Ha 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 We're not gonna read that because I can explain it better. This can hurt Armos. So basically we can now control her boomerang. And it actually becomes a useful weapon because it damages things. I think it does a sword damage? 
I could be wrong. We can hit you with our well, we can't hit you with our boomerang. Oh, oh, come on, swing at us, swing at us, big guy. Ow! Come on, I want to get this guy with the magic boomerang. I want to show off its prowess. Okay, we can't get this guy with the magic boomerang. I guess. Not a big deal to me. We can kill him with a sword. And... Fall all the way down here. And now, you remember that first place where I... The first place I got pissed off in this dungeon? Where we had the seemingly dead end. Where we could not do anything because, well, I didn't actually show you why we couldn't do anything. I just walked right out of that room expecting you people to know why. That was silly of me. Anyway, I'll show you guys in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, look. Okay. So, there's a stair here and there's a switch here. Guess what controls what? But with our regular boomerang, we couldn't hit that switch. But with our magic boomerang, piece of cake. Hee 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 I love the magic boomerang. I really do. Because it damages things and it stuns still. This is where the boomerang actually does become the most useful item in the game, because it is, like every other boomerang, just incredibly broken. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. Oh my god, I didn't get hit. Lag. Oh goodness. Snakes in a room. Snakes on this in this motherfucking room with some motherfucking razor blades. Ow! That, I can't. I can't believe that's the first time I got hit. Second time I got hit. I still can't believe it's the second time I got hit. <laughs> yeah. Try to follow me. You can't, cause you know what I hit you with. I hit you with a boomerang. Oh goodness. Okay, ready, ready, charge! Ready, ready? Whoa, wait, no! I wasn't even paying attention to you, I was paying attention to the Indiana Jones arrow traps. <sighs> I hate you, Tom Ruins. I hate you so much! I hate you, Paula. I hate you so much. Okay, now we can hit you. Damn. Switch. Ow. Hey, a spark. Thank you, spark. Thank you for coming to our rescue. We can't stun these guys with the boomerang. No! Get out of here! And now the spark is gone. <laughs> Wine, 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 wine. And for once, I'm not gonna make a this is whining joke. Because... This is whining. You know what? This is whining, because that was not fair. That was not fair. That was highly uncalled for and highly irregular. An enemy I can't stun with the boomerang, like... Well, can understand that I can't stun these guys with the boomerang, but still. The I I died off of a what? Screw you game. Screw you game. Screw you so hard. Screw
to you so long you want five dollar. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I have to do all this shit over again! In the end of, I want to end the episode right now, but I can't. Still got like 10 minutes that I've got to record. Screw you, razor blade. Fuzzy razor blade things. That's what they look like to me, because they look like sleeping creatures that turn fuzzy and attack you afterwards. They don't look like blades at all to me. Well, we can kill you guys, at least, with the boomerang. Right after I, right after I finish saying, Oh, the boomerang becomes the most useful instrument in the game. And who proves me wrong? The boomerang proves me wrong, because it can't fight one stupid... soldier guy. Turn off. Die and open. We're leaving that spark. We're leaving that spark because we're gonna need it later. No. And we are down to like five health. We're not gonna need that spark because it's gonna be somewhere else. Great. Oh! 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 Things are looking up! Oh! Who? Who got their shield out? Five seconds, not even, barely a hundredth of a second before he was destroyed by another beetle, one of the spiky ones that can actually you can actually fight. I hate you guys. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. You're going to die by falling down a very large pit, and then I'm going to laugh and laugh. Oh yeah! Ha ha ha! I know what this is. Again, light all the torches. Oh, I missed. Alright. I missed! I got one! Two, three, four, five! Hee 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 hee. I actually hit him that time. Okay, I know this is a trick. This is a trick. We need... Pegasus Seeds and Rock's Feather. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! No, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> we have another room. <laughs> I didn't see it at first. Oh god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. No, get out of the way, Bat! Get out of the way! No, we're dead! <gasps> we're not dead! Oh my god! We didn't die! Foss key. Boss key. Okay, there. <laughs> I'm like, well, where the hell do we go forward from here? There's literally, literally no way to move forward from this point. And then I was proven wrong, because there were stairs, but you all saw that anyway. Ow. At this point, it's not even that big of a deal. I'm taking like five billion points of damage. And what do I care? I care not. Because what do I care if I get hit by damage? Because I'm going to get hit by damage regardless. Huh? We missed a treasure chest. Somehow. Oh! Oh, I know. We didn't miss a treasure chest. Okay. I remember what it was. Do not worry. I know what's going on. Really, I do. <laughs> Duh. 
Alley snakes. No! I can't even see it because it's cut off. How many keys do we have? It doesn't tell me! Yeah, we need a key. Okay. Wasn't sure if we'd picked it up or not. Okay? 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 It's right down here. Just don't jump off the red floor. Alright, small key. We can go further into the dungeon, further into madness, further into my nightmare, further into sadness. Yay, mini boss fight. Do 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 do. Uh, ha <laughs> I am vile. Onox the Lord henchman. No, that's. I'm not gonna do a Fat Albert voice for him. I already did that for the Gorons. Onox is Lord henchman. I heard someone was trying to stop Onox, but it's just some kid. Fine, I can handle you. I don't know what that was. I don't know. I'm running out of voices for this game at this part point. We're... Ouch, pesky kid, take this! I'll just give him a very laid-back voice, not one for a demon. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, we can hit your fireballs. Ha ha ha, fireballs. Oh, come on. Give us some shot of hurting you. Really? That's it, I'm serious! Serious are seriously dead. Ow! No, that's us. Jeez. Yeah, see, seriously dead. You know what? I'm done with this game for tonight. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Oracle of Seasons with me, Oxfu. Hopefully, next time I won't be so frustrated. Probably, though, because this temple is extremely frustrating. Take it easy, everybody. No. No, that is not my outro. Take it easy.